What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to mask in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Just for against this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, for a job after it is in 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below, ask me on Twitter. Now masking can look hard, however it's very easy to do. Now masking can help you a lot in Sony Vegas, so it's a good thing to learn and I'm going to teach you it right now. So on the screen right now was the last video I uploaded, which was the Gaming Limits intro. I don't know, speed out how to make it, also provided a template. So let's say we want to mask out the top part here, so just the top part right there. Now I know it's nothing big or nothing needed, but let's just say we want it so I'm gonna start the video off here so you come to the event pattern crop now you'll see here it says mask you wanna click it and make sure this is checked as well now if you have this checked right here this means if you move this it's also gonna move the uh, line here as well so likewise if we move this it's gonna move it here as well so it's completely optional if you have that on or not so what this is going to do is remove everything off the screen apart from that top bar we're going to highlight. So it comes to the normal edit tool which is this right here, you zoom in with the mouse wheel and just go ahead and zoom into the part. Now there are different ways to mask, for example you can press this right here and let's just say we're going to do this real quick. So you'd literally click one by one in wherever you want to do, so it doesn't have to be a square, it doesn't have to be a circle, it can be anything you want. So let's just do this for example. There we go, you can see this is what masking does. So every time you want to mask, the part where you start has to be linked back up. So you can see we started here, we went down there, 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 there. You can see nothing's masked, but once we go back up here, everything will highlight yellow. Boom, it's now masked. So anyway, I'm going to stick to the part where I was going to show you how I'm going to get the top part. So let's go ahead and come to here. So this is the other way you can do it, we can get a rectangular mask or of course you can get an oval or a circle mask. So I'll just show you the circle or the oval one real quick. You can see, just drag it out like that and yeah that's basically it. And then you can move it around, you can also play with it like this and you can zoom out and you can just keep adding as many as you want. So you can see, look at that, we can just add as many as we want. So you can do some effects with this as well, it's not just about masking out and showing certain areas, you can go ahead and make some cool effects. So the rectangular masking is what I'm going to be using for the top part, we'll get into that in a minute. So here we've got the magnifying glass, press left click to zoom in, right click to zoom out, basically like that. Now here you can enable snapping, and then the final thing is this right here, move freely. So if I go ahead and just mask something out like this real quick, now you'll see we can move it freely. But if we press this, it's now going to only let us move it left and right. So if I try to move it up, it's not going to let me. It's only going to move left and right. And then if we press it one more time, it lets us go up and down only. We cannot go left or right. So this will be good if you in a good alignment and you just want to move it up and down. Be sure to take advantage of this feature right here. Okay, so we're finally going to get into the part where I'm going to go ahead and just mask out the top part. So the way we do this, I'm on the rectangular one right here. Now you can see the screen does not go any further so we can let go of it we can then zoom out we can get the normal edit tool we can come up here and we can come back to this select all like that and then we go ahead and just drag it to the end like so so you can come back to the normal edit tool again and just zoom it in make sure you get it all good so you right click it you select select all and then you go ahead and just drag it out again to about there then again the top part you can see there's still some bits we haven't covered so we'll go to the middle for this part which is right there there we go so now you can see the screen has gotten rid of everything apart from the photoshop bar at the top so now the rest of the video will only show that and of course you can see we've switched to sony vegas in the video so now it's only showing that top part that we masked out so as you can see i got rid of everything i'm going to go through one last thing which is keyframing so at the bottom here is where the keyframes go for the masking. So if you zoom in, and now this will be a good time to have sync cursor checked. So you can go ahead and move it wherever you want to. I'm going to say at 5 seconds on the mask again, I'm going to go ahead and just get all of the lemon. So like this. And just let go when you're happy with it. And you can see I've got all the lemon in right there. And now if we go ahead and go back one space, so zoom in and then just go press 
this right here and right click and delete all you'll see if we go ahead and play through this now at five seconds remember it will change you can see like that so that is how you animate them you have to go through one by one so if we did not add this one right here so this one is just the same as the first keyframe and then straight after this keyframe it goes to that one if we didn't add this keyframe right here this is what will happen so remember how it just flickered into the lemon let's see straight from the start this is what it does so that is why you need to add that keyframe in otherwise your video will just mess up anyway that is it for this video i hope you have liked it if you want to know how to blur moving objects or blur things in Sony Vegas it is using this right here using mask I have have separate videos on them so they'll be in the description below. If you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel which I'm starting up pretty soon. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what to do throughout my day. CSB Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.